Well, as we've got our uh, power supply here in SEC 1212, um, this power supply um, also blew up. Uh, this one wasn't due to capacitors. These two here, like normally, explode. They bubble up, short out, and blow the main fuse, pop transistors here and stuff. This one was completely different. The main AC fuse, as you can see, actually ain't popped on this one. So what's after happening, well, from what I can tell anyways, we did have a catastrophic failure of one component in this uh, power supply. That being over here. As you can see the board is quite toasty. An NTC1 has uh, burned up. Thus making the power supply completely unusable. And uh, what would you? What is an NTC one? You may ask. NTC thermistors are temperature dependent resistors that employ special semiconductor ceramics with a negative temperature coefficient (NTC). They have a high resistance at room temperature, and when they are energized, they generate heat by themselves and resistance falls as their temperature rises. With this property, they are used as current protection devices for electrical and electronic devices, which, e which easily and effectively limit abnormal currents, including inrush current at the time of powering on. NTC thermistors used as current protection devices are also called power thermistors. And this simple diagram, block diagram, is uh, the you see the NTC right here, the inrush current limiting in the switch mode power supply. So you got your AC going into the switch mode power supply, you got your power switch, your fuse, your NTC, bridge rectifier, smooth the capacitor, DC to DC converter, and your load. In the instance of the power supply I have out there, the NTC, or at least one side, one of the NTCs, has exploded and killed itself. So, in theory, it's killed the power supply. No voltage is it's just not making any voltage past the thermistor. So <clears throat> I'm thinking we're going to replace this NTC on that circuit board. We might have to replace the traces on the other side, but we'll see. But we're going to replace this NTC and we're going to see if we can generate any voltage on the load side of the power supply again. Right now the power supply don't even turn on and does not produce voltage and chances are it's, the whole issue is this NTC that's blown. Now if this is taking out anything else in the circuit, well I guess we'll find out once we power it up, replace it and power up the power supply. And this is just an example of what the NTC thermistor uh, actually looks like. Unexploded. <laughs> Right, so after reading that, now we have the original power supply and we have the board out of another old SAC 1212 that blew up due to capacitor damage. <laughs> Shorted out the transistor back, kapoof, boom, there she goes. But, um, the uh, NTC capacitors over here on this side and this side are still good on this board so we're going to remove the uh, NTCs from this board and we're going to move them over onto this board um, I'm going to replace both of them uh, one failed, the other one's probably not too far behind it and uh, I might replace this transformer as well because there's a fair bit of uh, heat damage down there. So we're going to replace the transformer too, along with the two of these. With the parts from my salvage board. Anyways, let's 
let's get this thing apart and see if we can't power it up. So over here you can see the discoloration from the heat. <laughs> that was when I mean, that uh, NTC and, uh, decided to uh, burn up. Well, here's the other side of the board. So now I'm try to get the get these this one out, and then possibly have to. Well, not possibly. I'm gonna have to um, rebuild the traces here as well. Anyway, let's uh, see if we can't get this part out of the board and see what happens. So there's what's left of the old uh, resistor, NTC. Uh, quite charred. <laughs> uh, the circuit board ain't very much better. The fiber is all burned up. So I'm not even going to trust this uh, position. So what I'm going to try to do is mount a terminal strip inside this power supply that I can mount the replacement NTC. And see what happens. All right. I have the, uh, the NTC mounted back here on a terminal strip. I got the wire weight, this is still neutral. And that's the old transformer. You can see it got uh, a tad bit toasty. So I replaced that. I replaced the NTC on this side. And of course, on that side, both sides. And in order to do this, I ran the wire down through the circuit port, drill the holes out a bit bigger, and solder to the um, one wire connects to this one, this wire back here. This one here connects, and the other wire then connects to the other side of the uh, transformer here, the way it originally was. It's just the traces now become two wires to the NTC back there. Anyways, let's uh, give her some juice and see if she's going to work or if she's going to blow up. Hopefully work. <laughs> right. I got me uh, voltmeter attached to the outputs here. AC plug plugged in. Turn the switch on. Powers up, and we got 13.5 volts. So the power supply has survived. I have a working uh, SAC 1212 power supply. Nice. Well, yeah. what am I going to do? We get another power supply. <laughs> Anyways, a little quick video for you folks. Hope you enjoyed it. 363. Out.